NHS England has confirmed 208 people in London who tested positive for coronavirus have died. Latest figures published today show the total number of deaths has risen to 8,937 in England, up 823 the previous day, in London, a total of 2,577 who contracted COVID-19 have now died. Among the people who died in the latest NHS England figures was an 11-year-old boy with underlying health conditions, a spokesman for NHS England said. A further 823 people, who tested positive for the coronavirus, COVID-19, have died, bringing the total number of confirmed reported deaths in hospitals in England to 8,937. Patients were aged between 11 and 102 years old. 33 of the 823 patients, aged between 29 and 94 years old, had no known underlying health condition. Their families have been informed. Here are the totals from each London Trust Barking, Havering and Redbridge University Hospitals NHS Trust, 13 deaths, occurring between April 3rd and April 7th. This trust runs King George Hospital and Queen's Hospital, Bart's Health NHS Trust. 17 deaths, occurring on March 25th and April 10th, this trust runs the Royal London, St. Bartholomew's, Whips Cross and Newham Hospitals. Chelsea and Westminster Hospital NHS Foundation Trust, 4 deaths occurring between April 2nd and April 9th, this trust runs Chelsea and Westminster Hospital and West Middlesex University Hospital, Croydon Health Services NHS Trust, 9 deaths. Occurring between April 9th and April 10th, the trust runs Croydon University Hospital and Pearly War Memorial Hospital. East London NHS Foundation Trust, one death, occurred on April 9th, the trust runs City and Hackney Centre for Mental Health, East Ham Care Centre, Newham Centre for Mental Health and the Tower Hamlets Centre for Mental Health, Epsom and St. Helier University Hospitals NHS Trust minus 15 deaths, occurring between April 4th and April 9th, the trust runs St. Helier and Epsom Hospital. Guys and St. Thomas NHS Foundation Trust, 6 deaths occurring between April 7th and April 10th. The Trust runs Guy's Hospital and St. Thomas Hospital. Imperial College Healthcare Trust, 25 deaths, occurring between April 3rd and April 10th. This Trust runs Charing Cross, Hammersmith, Queen Charlotte's and Chelsea, St. Mary's and Western Eye Hospitals. King's College Hospital NHS Foundation Trust, 13 deaths occurring between April 7th and April 10th. This Trust runs King's College Hospital. Kingston Hospital NHS Foundation Hospital, three deaths, occurred on April 10. This trust runs Kingston Hospital, Lewisham and Greenwich NHS Trust, 11 deaths, occurring between April 8 and April 10. This trust runs Lewisham Hospital and Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Greenwich. London Northwest University Healthcare Trust, 11 deaths occurring between April 1 and April 10. This trust runs Northwick Park Hospital, Central Middlesex Hospital, and Ealing Hospital, North Middlesex University Hospital NHS Trust, 11 deaths occurring between April 8 and April 9. This trust runs North Middlesex University Hospital in Edmonton, Enfield. Royal Brompton and Harefield NHS Foundation Trust, 3 deaths, occurring between April 9 and April 10. This trust runs Harefield Hospital and Royal Brompton Hospital. Royal Free London NHS Trust, 33 deaths occurring between March 30th and April 9th. This trust runs Barnet Hospital, Chase Farm Hospital and the Royal Free Hospital. St. George's University Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust 10 deaths occurring between April 8th and April 10th. This trust runs St. George's University Hospital. The Hillingdon Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust, three deaths, occurred on April 9. This trust runs Hillingdon Hospital and Mount Vernon Hospital. The Royal Marsden NHS Foundation Trust, one death, 
occurred in April 10, the Royal Marsden in Chelsea and the Royal Marsden in Sutton, University College London Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust 10 deaths, occurring between April 7 and April 10, this trust runs a University College Hospital. Whittington Health NHS Trust, 3 deaths, occurring between April 4 and April 7, the trust runs Whittington Hospital, Let's Block Ads. Why?